Hey everyone, welcome back to our Glow Tips channel. Today's session is all about mastering nail tips for poly nail gel extensions, even if you're a beginner. At Glow Tips, we're all about making poly nail gel extensions accessible and easy to understand. So if you're a beginner, consider joining our community by subscribing. So now that we're ready, let's get straight into our guide and talk about some tips and tricks on how to perfect poly nail gel extensions with nail tips. And we also have a little surprise as we released our new Chrome products. So what exactly are nail tips? These are artificial extensions that you can use to apply to your natural nails. These are designed to add length and style, and these tips are made from flexible plastics that are intended to use for one time only. You'll need to use some nail glue for the application process. And for today, we'll be focusing on nail tips, but do remember that there are also other options like paper nail forms and dual forms as well. We've also got videos on those nail extensions, so be sure to check them out in the top right of this video. It's all about discovering the method that works for you and to suit your style best. You want to start the beginning of every nail manicure by prepping your nails. Think of this as setting up the perfect canvas for your artwork. Here we start by gently buffing the nails with a 240 grit buffer. Remember, we need something fine and not coarse. This isn't just about smoothing, this is about creating a solid base for the nail tips to stick onto. Once you have buffed the nails, take an alcohol wipe and give your nails a good cleanse. This step is super important as we want to remove any oils for proper adhesion. Next, you want to pick the right size nail tip which is super important. This is a bit like finding a pair of shoes that fits just right. There's a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes to choose from. If you're just starting out, you might want to try the straighter tips. They're a bit easier to manage than the curved ones, especially when you're trying to get the hang of things. Now let's carefully apply the nail glue right underneath the tips, especially at the corners. This is important as we don't want any bubbles when applying the nail tips. When aligning your nail tips, aim for a straight fit with your nail bed, rather than going with the natural curve that slopes downwards. Press the nail tips against your nails, beginning from the edge, maintaining pressure for a few moments. It's crucial to check the corners and sidewalls to make sure that they adhere properly without leaving any space for air bubbles. And for added security, give the corners a gentle pinch. Next Next, let's make sure that those tips have been blended smoothly with our natural nails. In order to do this, grab our 240 grit hand file and softly file down the tips for that seamless transition. As you can see here, we are focusing mostly on the sidewalls and the surface where the tip meets the natural nail. Also take this time to file the surface of the nail tips too, in order to create a bit more of a textured finish. This will ensure that our gel adheres much better to the nail tip. And also don't forget the sides and the corners of the nails as we want to aim for a smooth connection all the way down to the nail tip. We need everything to look flawless so the gel we lay on top looks just as good. As you can see, this nail tip is just perfect. Not too big and not too small. It has a nice snug fit on the nail for a more natural look. Now that our tips are perfectly prepped, feel free to trim and shape them however you like. For today's video, I'm going for a short square shape and I'm going to take my time to make sure that each tip looks just right. Now get your lymph-free wipe and some alcohol and wipe away all that dust to prepare our nails for base coat application. We'll be using our base coat gel, which will be used as a base layer for our gel application. Make sure to apply a thin layer of base gel to your natural nails too. The main thing here is to ensure that your natural nails get some of the base coat so that your poly nail gel can stick properly to it. Before curing, ensure there is no gel on your skin and use our Glow Tips UV Light to cure the nails for about 60 seconds. Once cured, pick your gel of choice for today's video, we're using the Peachy Red Poly Nail Gel. We'll also be using our Slip Solution and our Dual Ended Poly Nail Gel Brush. And now for the fun part, we'll be applying our first bead of poly nail gel onto our nail tip. We're going to apply this to the center of the nail and use our brush dipped in our slip solution to pat this out. You want to start by gently patting out the gel flat onto the middle of the nail. Once the gel is nice and flat, you want to use the tip of the nail brush to push the gel towards the cuticle very slowly. I will be showing you this from a different angle so you can have a better perspective of exactly what I'm talking about. But from this angle, you can see that I'm tucking the gel ever so slightly up towards the cuticle and the sidewalls and dragging down any excess. You then want to keep dragging down as the gel reaches the free edge 
patting as you go along. It is important when applying our poly nail gel that you pat and slide the gel in order to get a smooth surface and a very even finish. You want to make sure that the gel is thinnest at the cuticle and free edge whilst keeping most of the product at the cuticle area. As you can see here, we have a nice medium thickness at the free edge but also keeping the side walls nice and thin. The viscosity of our gel allows us to apply a bead to every single nail without worrying about it slipping around. Here I'm going to show you the nail from a different angle. When patting out the gel at the center of the nail, you want to use the brush at a nice flat angle. When pushing the gel up and reaching the cuticle area, you want to angle your brush at a 45 degree angle in order to push the gel nice and flush to the cuticle. You want to repeat this to the side walls and then use the body of the brush at a flat angle to smooth out the gel towards the free edge of the nail. As you can see here, our cuticle area and side wall is starting to set nicely and we're going to just finish off the nail by smoothing out the surface, dragging the rest of the gel to the free edge. Make sure that you clean up the side walls to give your nail more shape and to reduce your filing time and also clean up around the nail if any gel is touching the skin. Our formula means our gel polymerizes on its own and creates a nice smooth and even finish. Don't forget that you can add more gel after the nail has cured. Then cure your nails for 60 seconds and wipe away the sticky layer with some alcohol. If after curing you notice some imperfections, you can use the Glow Tips 180 grit nail file to smooth and refine your shape. Here we're focusing on the side walls in order to achieve a more custom fit to the nail. And we're also focusing on sharpening our free edge in order to get a super straight finish. Don't forget the underneath of the side walls as we want this to be nice and straight so that we don't have the curved nail look. However, if this is something you are going for, then avoid this step. Of course, file the surface to make sure that the nails are extra smooth. However, if you applied your gel very smoothly, then you can probably skip this step and go straight to buffing your nails. Don't forget to check your nails from every angle to make sure that the nail is even and there are no lumps and bumps in the nail. Buffing your nails is a very important step as this finishes the surface of the nails ready for top coat. This is the last step as this ensures that there are no scratches on the surface of the nail and the nail appears smooth and even. The Glow Tips buffer is a 180 grit buffer which is perfect for finished filing. Of course, wipe your nails down with some acetone and grab your Glow Tips base coat. Apply a thin layer of this base coat if you wish to go ahead and do a nail design. In this video, we'll be featuring some of our new chrome liquids. However, if you wish to apply top coat, this shade of poly nail gel is perfect on its own. After applying your base coat, you want to cure your nails for a good 60 seconds. And now is the moment to let our creativity flow. I'm applying each nail with a unique gel color and the colors I'm using today are Mythic Glory, which is a nice dark blue. We have Scorpio, which is a perfect sky blue gel polish, one of our favorites. We also have Start Living. This is a beautiful paler blue. And our formulas are nice and thick, so you can expect coverage in one coat. The next shade will be Chill Bill. This is an even paler light blue. And last but not least, we have Solid White. This is our perfect white gel polish, great for any skin tone. Be sure to check out the links to these products down below. We're going to start off by painting our thumb with Mythic Goth. This is our beautiful, rich and deep dark blue shade. And we're going to do only one coat and we're going to be applying these fresh spring shades to create a gradient effect on each nail. And as promised, next up we have our latest products, the Liquid Chromes. Check out these stunning shades we've got. This is stuff like magic in a bottle. It transforms depending on the base color it's paired with, and I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a little bit. Unlike traditional chromes, this does not tend to go everywhere. This is a liquid version which keeps the mess at a minimum, so no more chrome mess. Let's take a closer look at our Liquid Chromes. This is a chrome in the shade Pearl and I am shaking each bottle just to show you the full effect of each chrome. This next shade is called Soils. Upon shaking the bottle, you can get a better view of the color and these shades are absolutely stunning. This next shade is called Azure and this is a more blue type of chrome and it's absolutely gorgeous. 
Our chromes are extremely versatile and can be used on any base color, from black to white and anything in between. Our next liquid chrome is called Viridian and this is a green type of chrome. As you can see, after I shake it, you see the green effect this gives off. At Glow Tips, we created some liquid chromes with versatile colors to create endless nail combinations. Our next shade is Crimson and as the name suggests, this is a red liquid chrome. At Glow Tips, we put our heart and soul into every product that we release, so we hope that you enjoy this new collection as much as we do. Our next shade is called Tawny and this is going to be a beautiful orange type of liquid chrome. As you can see, straight after shaking it, you get a beautiful orange hue all throughout the bottle. So now that you have seen our latest liquid chromes, let's get into some fun nail art. You want to start off by applying a thin layer of nail wipe top coat. However, the trick here is to cure this layer for only 15 seconds in our UV nail light. This is super important to make sure that the chrome is effective and has the best results. If our nail wipe top coat is too cured, the liquid chrome won't grab on as well. And after those 15 seconds, the top coat will set just right without getting sticky. Setting us up up for a perfect base for our chrome overlay. Our UV light does not have a 15 second timer, so just use the 30 second timer and count down. You want to avoid using our high gloss top coat as this will not create a sticky enough base for our chrome. Today I'm using the Pearl Liquid Chrome shade and you want to apply a nice generous layer of this, cover all sides of the nail and allow the liquid chrome to air dry for 5 to 10 seconds. Using our silicone tool, lightly rub the chrome on top of the nail. You may find that you need some more chrome, so simply add some more and wait for the nail to dry for 5 to 10 seconds. After this, give it another gentle rub and you will see that the chrome will begin to pop. If at any point you're not satisfied with the outcome, do not worry because we can easily correct this. Just simply take an alcohol wipe and gently remove the liquid chrome and there is no need to reapply our top coat. Once our area is nice and clean, you're all ready to start anew. Just dab the liquid chrome on again and carefully rub it in to achieve that perfect chrome look all over again. Now it's time to finish up these chrome nails and repeat the process to every single nail. Our chromes are versatile since they can be used on plain, clear and glittered gel polishes. You could use a sponge applicator, however we do not recommend this as the eyeshadow sponge can tend to soak up too much of the product. While using a finger might also seem like a quick fix, it's best to avoid this because we do not want to touch semi-cured gel, even with gloves, so we can prevent any potential allergic reactions. The preferred tool will always be the silicone applicator. Now that our nails are finished, there is no need to cure this. We can go in with our layer of high gloss top coat to seal in our chrome for a beautiful shine. Here we're using the high gloss top coat and we're going to cure our nails for 60 seconds after applying a nice generous layer. Now let's finish up our nails with a touch of cuticle oil to ensure our nails are nourished and looking their best. Now our nails are finished and they're perfectly prepped for spring. I'm absolutely loving the transformation bought by this liquid chrome and it's such a game changer for any gel polish. It enhances every shade and even making clear nails sparkle with an aurora-like effect. If you are intrigued about how this looks and you want to see a design featuring it, please let me know in the comments below. Perhaps this could be our next creative video. And that wraps everything up for today's session. I really hope you found some inspiration and really try our poly nail gel extensions with tips. Let me know what your go-to technique for poly nail gel extensions is. Do you prefer nail tips, dual forms or paper forms? Let me know in the comment section down below. And keep in mind that mastering this art takes practice. So dive in and start experimenting. For more insights and tutorials on poly nail gel nails, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the Glow Tips channel and we'll catch you in the next video.